Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing wonderful today. I'm the Portfolio Panda, mastering the art of salary negotiation. Welcome to today's video on how to negotiate a salary or a raise. It can be extremely daunting to have this discussion and most of us would rather avoid the topic and just remain under paid, but it's important to bite the bullet for the benefit of your financial future. I will provide you with essential tips and strategies to help you navigate the delicate process of salary negotiations. Remember, negotiating your worth is crucial for your professional growth and financial well-being. So let's dive in. Preparation. Before entering a negotiation, it's essential to gather information about your market value, the company and your own achievements. Start by researching the salary range for similar positions in your industry and location. Look into websites, industry reports and salary surveys to get a comprehensive understanding of your market value. Reflect on your skills, qualifications and accomplishments. Identify specific examples that demonstrate your value to the company. Make a list of key points you want to highlight during the negotiation. Initiating the conversation. Once you have done your homework, it's time to initiate the salary negotiation conversation. Choose an appropriate moment to discuss your salary. Consider factors such as company performance, your achievements, or during performance reviews. Approach the conversation with confidence and professionalism. Express your interest in a productive dialogue rather than making demands. Opening statement, I appreciate the opportunity to discuss my compensation. I have done some research and believe that my skills and contributions warrant a salary adjustment. I would like to discuss the possibility of a raise. Making your case. Now it's time to present your case for a higher salary or raise. Focus on your value to the company and your accomplishments. Highlight your achievements. Over the past year, I have successfully led several projects that resulted in cost savings of X amount. I have also consistently exceeded my targets, bringing in X amount of revenue for the company. Emphasize unique skills. Furthermore, my expertise in X area has greatly contributed to improving team efficiency and productivity. This has positively impacted the company's bottom line. Market value. Based on my research, the average salary range for professionals with similar qualifications and experience in our industry is X considering my track record and the value I bring to the company. I believe a salary adjustment would be fair and in line with market standards. Responding to objections. It's common to encounter objections during salary negotiations. Be prepared to address them effectively. Budget constraints. You, I understand that budget constraints exist, but I believe that my performance and contributions merit a reconsideration. Is there any room for negotiation within the company's compensation structure? Additional benefits. If a salary adjustment is not immediately possible, would it be feasible to discuss additional benefits or performance-based bonuses to recognize my contributions? Closing the negotiation. As the negotiation comes to an end, it's crucial to reach a mutually beneficial agreement. Compromise. I appreciate the discussion we've had and I'm open to finding a solution that benefits both the company and myself. Is there any possibility of reaching a compromise on the salary? Next steps. I would appreciate it if we could revisit this conversation in the future, considering my ongoing commitment to delivering exceptional results for the company. What would be the best time to revisit this discussion? Congratulations. You have now learned some effective strategies to negotiate a salary or a raise. Remember, thorough preparation, clear communication of your value, and professionalism are key to successful negotiations. Best of luck as you embark on this important journey toward achieving your desired compensation. As usual, let me know any questions in the comments below and make sure to share this with your least financially savvy friend then tell me if I did okay in explaining the topic. Your most valuable asset is your time. Thank you for sharing yours with me. Until next time,